All right, Virgo, hello. So actually, I was doing this reading earlier, but I got interrupted. But what is happening with y'all is that this is a spectacular month for you to build in terms of love. It is a super important month for you to acknowledge all of the ways that you may attract folks based on the energetic states you are upholding. Um, there are a great many of you that pull in people the most when you are feeling low or you're not feeling your best because that's when you're most um, emotionally charged and the universe responds to deep emotion. So being mindful of the ways that you verbalize or write what you want to bring in and the ways that you speak around what you want and do not want. So being mindful of situations where you might call in a lover, or you might call in a business partner, you might call in whatever, and you're so frazzled and you want change so badly that you don't even name things in the the full gravity of what you need. Whereas you might only say, I need a handyman, but not a reliable handyman or a handyman who is on time and caring and precise, you know? So being very specific about what you need and also knowing when in doubt if you are not 100% sure of everything you need this or better this or more aligned with whatever it is that i need also super important that y'all tap into the awareness of how much <sighs> tap into the awareness of how many new things you can bring in and giving yourself kind of goals that are split through time so I'm feeling like setting um, a set of goals for the next six months will be manageable in giving yourself small tasks every month to tap into that so let's see the animal friends that are aligned with you now <coughs> beaver productiveness just do it so if there have been things you've been pussyfooting around if there have been things that have been kind of teasing at your anxiety give yourself the space to know you're capable um tune out the parts of you that keep insisting that you are not capable or rather than tune out let's do some digging work around <clears throat> the parental figures that have kind of ingrained some of these things some of you are going to find that a lot of the immune system issues that you have are linked to the pain that you share through your parents so a lot of you might notice you have, <clears throat> excuse me, um, like a shake in the hand, a throbbing in the nerves around here, or the veins, or whatever the case may be. Um, some of you get a pounding headache on this side of your head when you're around your parental figures or folks who um, remind you of them or trigger the same lessons in them, and you gotta get a hold of that. Working with chamomile this month will be super duper helpful. Also, working with herbs like rhodiola will be wonderful for managing nervousness, the nervous system itself. It's also an adaptogen. Very, very helpful. Working with sunflower petals in a bath would be magnificent. Working with the color yellow, working with a yellow candle to set your intentions tonight will be very, very helpful. And tapping into the communal energy of the beavers. So it feels like a lot of you are also questioning your roles in community. A lot of you are questioning where you fit, what you can be doing, what works, what doesn't work. Do not guilt yourself into being places you have no business being in. Be honest with yourself about your capacity because as this is your season, as this is your time to, to sow seeds, it's super important that you put your seeds in the right places and that you don't okay um bear with me bear with me um spirit a little sciencey uh so don't don't just ejaculate anywhere right so again this is spirit so thinking about it this way right um if you have a penis right and you know obviously if you have a penis you have a lot of responsibility whether you realize it or not because you let that loose in the wrong person it's it could be game over you know um 
if it's with a person that carries a lot of generational trauma, if it's with a person who doesn't do the work, if it's with a person that is not interested in being a parent or is more interested than you are, you have a whole other case, right? So that, that takes a lot of responsibility. It's the same thing with your goals. It's the same thing with your aspirations. So planting the seeds of partnership with people you might not want to work with long term, planting the seeds of of the idea of availability in relationships that you're not sure of planting the seeds because you are nervous of how people will perceive you if you don't plant the seeds is going to be important so stay in spaces and around people that you don't have to question or doubt and if you need clarity around situations like this ask your guides ask for it to be clarified as one of your um your intentions for the season um with this moon cycle especially as it moves into libra season it's really important that you are clear about your partnerships but also clear about where your worth is amplified clear about where you can feel like your fullest self and where people are really using you as a resource in the best of ways and where it's all reciprocal so I am available for individualized readings, whether through tarot or the Akasha. I also do Reiki. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And have a beautiful new moon, my little earth babies.